Welcome back to Factorio Story Missions. My name is Nilaus and we are in the second mission, the third episode. Thank you very much for joining me on this uh, epic journey. I am really loving this mod pack. Uh, it is super cool that things have to be done a little bit different. You have to kind of follow the the, the theme of the of the maps and you can't just do the usual thing, which is kind of what the, the people saying, hey, play more Factorio. And I'm like, yeah, I can't. I want to play more Factorio, but I'm going to end up playing the same thing again. So this, uh, because it's I've, I've been hyper optimizing it. So now I can sort of see how much I can take my stuff that I've hyper optimized and then uh, make some changes like this part. We have some really cool design for blue signs that sort of a middle between uh, what we'd build in a normal bus base and what we'd build in a sort of small thing where we need some blue signs because we definitely need to get some pump jacks to get some blue blue signs and uh, what i've done between sessions is just a little bit of thing here we put uh, put this part in this uh, gives us some iron some much needed iron because we are very much running out at this point and i've also dropped drawn some power lines over here uh, so we can tap this when we get there and uh, what i'm going to do first is uh, or we'll, we will be doing is focusing on first of all the getting the pump jacks that means we need to get more uh what are we going to get more of we are going to get more of yeah yeah um yeah, we're going to do more oil stuff and that means we probably should have a place that makes just a little bit of here some of this uh piping there let's go to 400 that should be fine and if anything sort of goes all the way through, then just convert it into pipes. That should be a good move. The first thing we will do is we will be uh, tapping these two lo four, look, these four that we have already taken. Then we'll be tapping these four that goes into eight. We need ten, and then we'll finally just uh, hit this one in. What I'm going to do is just kind of make a, a line here and uh, try to sort of sneak it in uh, somewhere in here we have a little bit of this so i'm gonna go here and uh, what i also just realized now is that i probably need to make a little bit of uh, engines because if i want to make some pumps and i do want to make some pumps i don't have any uh, well i do have one but uh, we're gonna definitely need more of those so let's just make a little bit of a build here and uh, that will be actually like this we'll make a little bit of a build for engines because for some reason they cannot be uh handcrafted so we'll just we'll just accept that um this is a little bit of a mess honestly uh, that's a hundred here we need a bit of steel that's another hundred and we have uh, more of this uh, i'm gonna get a little bit more on the engines part or on there okay and i should be able to have there that's a little bit more so we'll uh, try to get in here so 100 100 and well, actually i just need 150 of these and then once we get to 100 then we can at least get 50 engines that should be a nice little setup good then we get some engines that gives us some pumps let's uh, hook this up and hook this up consolidate it i don't know like here maybe and then we can start working on what the oil will be like. What we should also build is get some more of these. Let's see what we need here. That one is... And we need some... Some stone bricks. It's also like... This is so nice. We have everything we need here. Uh, just in... Not in super high quantities. One, two, three. Get a little more steel as well. Let's get more steel back up here. Uh, get that half of that steel. That's one, two... And I got one previously. So that's three... Four, five, uh, plus one, that's six in total. Then let's let's uh, settle for six and then get uh, also some of the chemical plants. We don't need a lot of those. There we go. That should get us sorted. And here we build it. We'll just put all of these down here, even though we're not going to tap them. I should build more advanced weapons for defense. Maybe later. Maybe later. Maybe later. Well, maybe laser it is. So uh, what do we have here? We have a laser turret is now available in the tech tree. Research laser turrets, build laser turrets, and then build walls around the pump jacks. Yeah, well, I'm not going to do walls around those pump jacks because those are kind of relevant and there should be nothing that can get us at that location. So what we need to do is we need to go back into our base, get all the way up north and do a little bit more defense. But we are now ready to start working on the oil oh look at this this is also something like now i've also tapped this coal this coal will be our primary coal and we're going to be running out of things so I, I will just need to expand this with one two three four five additional and then make this one this line go in here and then also moving forward yeah that makes sense so i feel that works a little bit better we got a little more 
power going on and we have a much better build for coal going uh, in here so we need to get up here and then start working on our blue signs now blue signs or uh, technically we need to start on oil uh, we are up here and we built basically this but we just haven't hooked this one up i was kind of hoping that by hooking that i would be hooking up this one at the end so that it would be sort of the one that triggers it but it did not it triggered immediately as we got in here so that means now we are generating more pollution up here that means we probably need to figure out a little more uh, defenses around the perimeter here did we have anything yeah we do have a lot of ammo so let's uh, build a proper defense here so that is the defensive perimeter taken somewhat care of i think uh, this one we already have something and now we have oil coming in flowing very nicely and i just realized that i might actually want a little bit more of these two ah that's steel plates that we don't have okay well we'll make do with just two of those Right, so what we want to do here, we want to leave some space and I just kind of don't want to go. Right, first things first, I I want to leave an empty space out here for just transporting things. So that's probably going to be right there. Let's see, we are going to get, we have this. Here, two, two, three, four, five six this will absolutely be enough for our build we don't really need a lot of this and yeah and this could even go into further and uh, we are not going to go up to do advanced oil processing we don't i don't think we need no enough and we also get this going pretty early so we can just have oops have this one stack up as much as possible and just fill in our storage that we inevitably need so that was the storage part we needed now did i have two of those ah man it's kind of really bad positioning for this part here and uh, let's let's do something like this and get a pump we have one of those left and that can continue on the other side and there that's probably fine good now we have yay the first thing first things first do we have ah we do need more of those damn engines Right, uh, from here, I am kind of feeling that we need some space here. Okay, let's let's talk let's talk shop about what we want. Let's start from here. I want to make a. Oh, do we even have some? Oh no, I forgot to bring some power poles. All right, we'll build this without the power poles and go back and grab those. All right, we want to build this. So I need sulfur. I need uh, advanced circuits, and I need engines. Well, the thing is, I could make something like engines down here. That is one every 10 seconds. So every this one, every 24 seconds, it requires two. So I have 20 seconds, I produce two. So I will produce one of these into here. We'll be pretty close to a one-to-one -one ratio. So that's good. What if we do the same thing with uh, red circuits? Red circuits are going to produce one every six seconds. So on a 24 second cycle, I will be producing four and I'll be consuming three. So again, a little overproduction, but nothing nothing too much there and then if we look at our option for plastic going in here because the only thing we need plastic for is here this this needs one every three seconds or two every six seconds so one every three seconds and this is producing two every second so more than enough to feed two of these that gives us some kind of a uh, pattern that we want to make and then we can just need to get this stuff inbound i'm just going to go pick up some more power poles and anything else we need to get this one this one built all right, so let's see if we can build this in a meaningful way. We're going to get some kind of line here. And uh, this is now our, I guess, like our benchmark here. I will be building this and then six over. I'll build this and here and here and here. Just keep going down here in uh, this manner. So we get it. Again. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. That sounds about right. I'll get this all the way down here. And we're going to do the same thing for here with okay ah shoot i kind of missed it one two this will be reds red yes here and then i also need to make sure that this is yeah it's not actually correct this is plastic and then i'm gonna have two different so this goes one up then you're gonna go out on up you're gonna go on up and they have to be close, right? And how does it work? Well, these are going to be in here. 
we'll start from this from scratch so whoops you need to go away you can go up here all right i'm gonna need some coal inbound and i'm going to get this here so first things first i'm gonna get some coal in great that will be together with the petroleum that we already have then we're gonna make plastic there we go that's plastic and then what is the we want on this belt well we want two things we want the cable and we want green circuits so i'm gonna make that out here this will be the circuit parts and they will be going happily into this belt and also happily oh, getting it from up here actually i think it looks nicer to do it this way there and that means this is going to be copper so now we can start to sort of just say hey what would i want to have inbound and that will be green circuits so and now i'm going to be like coal copper green circuits mm -hmm. and then moving on to the next here it has to be two different because then i can build these and what do we need in here i am going to need sulfur inbound sulfur is something we really don't need a lot of one every 24 so that's uh well pretty much nothing so i can just do this little one and i will be able to just grab it from here inside and there we go now the other part is how the hell do we get some water but i think i'm gonna go water is that connected yes it is then i'm gonna go water here because we do have a little bit of water up there so i'm just gonna go some something like this and then out and up to the water eventually but let's see so that means we will at this point get some sulfur uh, i think that'll be fast enough so we get sulfur inbound or outbound and that goes up here so we need to pick it up there so sulfur on this line what do we now need we have reds coming in we have sulfur coming in only thing needed is engines that will be down here now engines will then be done like this because i also need an outbound so we're gonna, if we're going to need an outbound then let's do that this will now be blue circuits outbound and this one actually does not need to go out here because i'm not going to get the sulfur any further outbound but we're going to get two inbounds here there we go those inbounds i'll do the speedrunner trick of making it two aside just to make it easier that will be gears and pipes so you need to gear make a gear and pipe factory here i'm going to make the pipe factory first because we need twice as many pipes as gears so we want to make sure that goes gets the priority and we'll have a line here coming in with some kind of iron and that will be something like this one two inbound one inbound and outbound here outbound here so this goes on the outside and this goes on the inside everyone's happy and this one will be steel so we have another one with iron we have one another one here with steel coming in and at this point we basically have the whole build so all we need to do is just extend it outwards and get some uh, water inbound let's get those done so this is a really neat build. We got water coming in, we got uh, oil coming in, and that still means the only thing we're actually building here is the sulfur. Sulfur is coming out on the line. That is one out of three components. We won't be able to get the other components until we actually get stuff in. Remember what it is. It is coal, it's copper, it's green circuits, it's blue circuits out or blue signs outbound, it is iron inbound, and it's steel inbound. So that means we actually just need to make a little bit of a, dare I say, normal build. Uh, if we also since oh since we now need to make laser turrets then let's go find the laser turret laser turrets are going to need batteries that needs sulfur no better yeah batteries need sulfur it needs iron it needs copper uh, steel needs steel and green circuits need green circuits so i might as well just build a new green circuit build here that is uh, kind of dedicated so let's uh, give that a shot and then try to sort of uh, build it um, there Oh, we're being attacked. Where are we being attacked? Okay, that is fine, I think. So there we go. And I'll be building this one here. That'll be some greens. Uh, do we want one or two? And I need inbound and I need outbound. What a coincidence that it just so happens to work exactly like we wanted it. And <clears throat> I need to build a kind of a bus build here. So this will be now be the green circuits coming in. And then 
I will do kind of a cheeky little thing here, and that means you're going to go in. So everything will, the horizontal line, no, the vertical lines will be the priority. This will now be iron coming in. This is not be copper coming in, but we already have those. It turns out to be a little build of a, a little bus build. We're just whipping up here, there, and get that into that side, and get it here and the outbound as well. We can just mm, there, 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 and they're gonna get some lights as well. Maybe not those in the middle. And one, two, three, one, two here. And then inbound. Let's, uh, let's get those inbounds first. And the outbound. That's going to be much easier to do that. And I really don't need it on both sides. So I'm just going to suffice on having it on one side. And that's again. Copper. Iron. Inbound. So. Whoops. Also let's just get it powered. Because those are annoying to look at. Those blinkity blink. There we go. Okay. So. We do have like resource rich area. We have this, not a lot of resources, but a little bit. We have coal, we have iron, we have uh, copper. We get a little bit more iron here that we can leach maybe. But that kind of means that we need to build a separate build. Let's take this one as template. I think this is going to be our perfect template for what we want to build. There we go. That will be right here. Uh, let's make one, two and three. Copper is going to be here, iron going to be here, and this one would be steel. Since this is going to be steel, then I need to figure out how to do the steel part. And there, that will be the steel part. And I'm going to be turning this and go in here. That's how the steel pick gets to work. And this will be filtering coal on the side. So coal goes in and the iron comes in. That means now these will have to be sort of moved the other way. And our output will now be like this. There. So all we need to do is just paint by numbers, fill in the banks here, and set up some more mining up top. And that should give us a little bit more iron and copper inbound and also steel. And since we're also getting some coal, then suddenly we have everything we need down here. Oops, uh, typical. So that means we get all the things we want coming from top. We get copper, iron becomes green circuits and then more coal we get that copper we get that uh, blue circuits will be the outbound and we have here the iron and here the steel so that will be great let's get this uh, put together and voila that's done we've filled in the uh, painted by numbers and we can start filling in up here we have uh, we need some power obviously that uh, is goes kind of goes without saying so we'll just hook up some power here we get the copper going in and all the way up here, let's also just get a little bit of uh, power. Let's try to do it sort of in a as regular as fashion as possible. And there. Go further up. And from here, I'll just go straight in. And that will be tapped. So we get a little bit of iron coming in. We get a little bit of coal. Well, actually, kind of a lot of coal. But that's also needed for plastic, so that's fine. <clears throat> they will come down here. And we can already see... We are getting the stuff inbound. And I'll just start flooding it in. Flooding it in. I will be prioritizing the inbound from up here. So that it uh, it will only function as an overflow. I will equivalently, equivalently prioritize the output to go there. Down to the main base. And only excess will go up here. Uh, I don't think that's correct. Don't, no priority. Just go here, but that will prioritize from up north. Right, so what we have, should have, is then steel, and we get some iron coming in here, and we get some, whoops, that's, let's make it here instead. <clears throat> get some copper, and then we just start making our, well, it's not really a bus build, uh, but let's uh, start seeing. So this will be green circuits, then that is going to be where we want to build our copper. Copper coming in first. Then we'll build iron at this point. We'll just leave a little one-off one -off space for each. And if I do here, then maybe, I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out there. And the steel will come in here. Yeah. Steel will come in. Iron comes in. Iron goes in here. Steel goes further down. That one is cold, so then we also need the coal coming in. And looks like there's a 
space here. Hmm. I actually wanted it to be there. Ah, all right, fix. And continue with the coal down here. Coal will not go anything out into anything else. So we just do this one. And we definitely need iron going further down. We definitely need this going further down. Uh, hold on. What did I want to do? I, ah, please don't do that. Uh, there. Actually, what... Mm, actually, I think this is more fun to do it this way. Yeah, it's also more feasible. There. That's going to be more fun to do. And this one has to go a little bit further down. So that... What is this one again? This was copper. And that will then go. Huh. That's ugly. Ugly as sin. But that was copper again. So let's get another copper here. Copper goes in. And it's going to continue down here. And what is the next? This is... We're going to keep you. Ooh, that's a weird place. Or maybe I just want to get it into that one. Yeah, sure, 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 sure. That's that's a fun idea. There we go. That's going to be blue circuits going all the way down. And then we just need some iron going in. That's iron going onwards. And that's steel down here. Also, steel is going to be go going onwards because there's definitely going to be things for steel as well moving forward like such as green uh, such as uh, laser turrets which we something we need to do and there we go all right i think we got everything uh, going here and things are working and let's just check uh, how this one is performing it's performing all right like obviously everything is just way too slow uh, copper is going to be just fine iron is going to be okay we can always just upgrade it to uh, steel smelters if we feel like it that's uh, that should be fine and uh, it'll just fill up here. We don't really need a lot of iron for this and we don't need a lot of copper for this. So it will eventually fill up and coal is not something we need a lot of. Uh, the most important part is seeing that these are spinning. Obviously the last ones are not really spinning yet. They will probably get there. And uh, in the meantime, whatever we can do is we can drag this one further back down here because I've already prepared an area for this to return to our base. So we get the blue science operational immediately okay and oh if only we had like a mm, somewhere that like here for example let's get this over to this side and i have one more of these look at that that works unfortunately it hasn't run out yet so i'm actually going to isn't this one completely relevant? Yeah, I thought so. I thought so. Um, this here. From this location down here. And continue out. Sure. It's a little uh, kink in the belts, but uh, we'll uh, accept it. There we go. Let me have my kinks in peace there. And that's it. We got blue science coming back in and going directly in and being used. And we got the first blue science operational. Then we could figure out whether we want this part. Mm, not really, I guess. On the other hand, if I really look at how slow this is, it is really slow. Like they're all churning and they're all sort of fully saturated. It would be nice if we could actually get um, these two here. They're only 100 and the next one is 200. So let's get those. And then we're going to be working towards lasers and laser turrets and then we can go back and do something else afterwards great let's uh, get this one going yep everything is uh, working all right i am super happy with the progress so far let's just have a look at what it is we've done we have finished this one up we've uh, tapped the pump jacks we have uh, set up here whoa someone has forgotten to that i even built an extra radar because I knew that I was going to need a radar in this location just to be able to see my beautiful new build. Let's smash it in here. There we go. Right. So this is uh, also we got oil. We got new smelting. We got uh, this, I think, really neat 
little build for for blue signs which will just keep churning out blue signs and you can see that everything is starting to saturate pretty well up here um i i don't think or i actually think that this will be pretty close to be able to saturate the whole thing and getting this one blue is creating ins insanely slow so this will be basically be like what what is uh one that's only one yeah not two so it's one per second we're building here it's one every 12 so one per second uh blue signs not a lot but uh there's also a lot of other things to do. We need to build batteries, sulfur, uh, sulfur batteries and laser turrets, and then go out and figure out how to do this and then figure out if there's anything more uh, after that. So with, I hope with that, we're going to be wrapping up this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you like this new little design. Um, if you want to see more, be sure to, uh, to, to follow the series, like, share and subscribe, all that good stuff. And if you want to get access to all of the chapter immediately, then uh, or, and also all future chapters as soon as the first is released you will get access to all of them then uh, consider supporting on Pat patreon that is how, I, how kind of how i run this channel thank you very much for watching until next time take care and as always stay effective